Hello everyone, welcome back to another Brickstore Quick Tips video. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how we can create custom key bindings or key commands within Brickstore itself. So a lot of people um, probably, you know, maybe maybe don't know about this just because it's not something that's super out there and maybe not something you're thinking of. But really when we're talking about adding pieces to our inventory, we're always, or, or at least should always, really be thinking about efficiency and if there's an efficient way we can do that. And with certain things, having to click certain buttons, for example, and maybe having to click this plus up here instead of using what you know as a specific insert key or something, um, clicking these things becomes very inefficient. So there's key uh, key commands or key bindings that you can do that you can create custom ones for for different options. And a lot of people probably don't know about that, so I'm going to show you how to set them up today. And then obviously, at what you know your preference of which keys you use are totally up to you. There's no right or wrong way to do it, but this can make your, your adding of pieces or your consolidating or your adding remarks or whatever it might be much, much more efficient. So if you're on a Mac, um, to get to this menu, you're actually going to go to the preferences by clicking Brick Store in the top left and then Preferences and it'll bring up this Preferences or this Settings window. If you're on a Windows computer, you click the Extras tab and then there is a Settings button, which will bring up then the same window that is shown here. So this is where you get to the settings. There's a lot of different settings here. Most people have probably been here at some point because they would have signed into their BrickLink store from this. Some people maybe not, but most likely you're signed into your BrickLink store from here, so you have the ability to download your inventory. What we're gonna talk about today though is going over here to this keyboard tab where we click on the, the far right. And now we have every single option or action that we can do within BrickStore, um, all available to us here. And then all we need to do is tell it, you know, a new key command. So one one thing, for example, that we do is uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, let's just do a random one. Actually, we'll go up here. Um, let's say we want to. What should we do? Let's say we want to part out an item. And for example, right now you can see currently there is no key command. The default there is no default, which means by default to do this, you would either have to right click on the item and click part out, or there's that little inventory thing. So for example, if I add a minifig real quick um, to our inventory here, I'll show you how to part it out. So let's add this guy here. So you can either right click and I believe click part out item like so, or you can click inventory. Um, and if you double click that, it'll then ask you if you want to part out. If you say yes and replace the things, now it shows us the inventory. So let's not do that though. So I just undid it. We're going to go back to preferences here or the settings, and then we're going to change that key command for part out to something else. So for example, now what we want to do is we're going to click down here in this little um, uh, box here where it says press shortcut. Uh, you might not need to click actually, but if you hover over it or something, you'll see there's a cursor. And now we're going to click uh, whatever combination of keys we want in order for this to be the case. So uh, let's do Command P would be printing or Control P, but let's do uh, Command O. There we go. So Command O, it is already used by another action, so we can't do that. So it'll give you this nice little error here. Let's do um, something different then. Let's do Command 9. I don't believe, to my knowledge, that's used for anything, and it's not. So now we have set this part out item to Command 9. If we click OK, it'll save that. Now that means if we're hovered over this, instead of having to click that inventory, or instead of having to right click and then click part out item, we can do Command 9, and then it'll ask us the same thing. Click Enter now for yes, and boom, we've parted out that minifig. So you can do it with a lot and a lot of key commands, which is really, really nice. I know we use this for... Um, copying the values from one document to another, which we have changed to command U just for random, but that's how we do it in, at Just a Brick in the Bucket. Everyone uses command U or control U, depending which, uh, soft, or which um, operating system you are on. Uh, but essentially, you know, there's a lot of things here you can change, and it's really fun and interesting to actually scroll through this and then get a better understanding of what options you even have at all um, in, in this uh, thing. One more thing I'll talk about really quickly is this toolbar. So right here on the right side, this is the top toolbar up here. So let's say you're using a button constantly. You don't want to have to remember all these key commands. Let's say, for example, you wanted an easy part out button. You can actually drag this over in the toolbar. Let's say we want to put it right there next to redo. And if you click OK, you can see now it has jumped up here to our toolbar. So if we undo this, we select this. Now you have a button easily handy to then part out that item. So I'm going to keep this short as always for a brick store quick tip, but uh, look forward to more in the future. Hopefully this was helpful. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.